Coast Church for the 154th annual session of the Alabama State Missionary Baptist Convention. We're so excited to welcome all, all of you back to the historic Queen City Center, Alabama, and are committed to serving you with a spirit of excellence. Um, the convention will be November, will be two days, November the 16th and Wednesday, November the 17th. If you'd like to register or get that information about a hotel, um, dining, and the conference, at a glance, please see myself or Sister Emma after services. Uh, please remember our Operation Christmas Child um, campaign. You can bring items for uh, young boys and girls ages 2 to 12. And the last day to send in those donations is going to be Sunday, November 14th. We ask that when you pray, you continue to pray for all of our sick and shut in. Uh, we know we had a lot of bereavement this week, so please keep all those bereavement families in your prayers as well. Uh, please help me in wishing a happy birthday to our birthday recipients. Uh, this past week, on the first, we had Sister Kimberly Savage on the sixth. We had Sister Tina Cook, and then on the 14th, we had Sister Jermaine Lewis, Brother Anthony Savage, and Sister Courtney Lawson. Um, please help me wish you a happy birthday by saying that to them. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Thank you. 
Yes, the blessing that gone to be given. Yeah. Bless all of the gifts. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we ask it. Amen. 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 Just keep 
keep on keeping her. And not only that father, but bless their children and all of us, oh Heavenly Father, that are connected to them. And, and Father, we'll be more than careful to give you all the praise and all the glory and all the honor. And Father, for these and all other blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Let your heart say amen. 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 And now, after a hymn of preparation, prepare your hearts and minds to receive a word from all high. Amen. 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 Thank you. 
begin reading verses 3 through 14. Philippians, the third chapter, verse 3 through 14 simply says, For we are the circumcision which worship God in the Spirit, and rejoice in Christ Jesus, and have no confidence in the flesh. Though I might also have confidence in the flesh, if any other man think that he had whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more. Circumcision, the eighth day of the stock of Israel, the tribe of Benjamin, and the Hebrew of Hebrews as touching the law. A Pharisee concerning zeal, persecuting the church, touching the righteous, which is in the law, blames, but what things were gained to me, those I count lost. Oh, yea, doubtless, and I count all things but lost for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but done, that I might win. And be found in him not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith, that I might know him in the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering, being made conformable unto his death. If by any means I might obtain the resurrection of the dead, not as though I had already obtained, either were already perfect, but I fall after, if that I may apprehend, that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Verse 14 says that now I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. You may be seated. I, I simply want to speak on for a subject this morning. When your breakthrough is delayed. And we have all experienced some kind of delay in our lives. That mother that have carried that child for nine months, she could hardly wait till she finally give birth or that son or that daughter would come forth, amen. But something would happen that would cause a delay. Am I right? There's some things that you've prayed for over and over. You, you, you consider yourself a child of God. You, you fought the priest rib about asking God for whatever it is that you want or what it is that you're seeking for. You pray, you pray, you pray. And no answer. So we Pray, we pray some more and not a word. Your situation stays the same, but what you fail to realize that sometimes it takes a little time for what God, what you, what you're asking God for, it might take a little time for what you're asking for and where you are. You didn't get in that position overnight and you're not going to come out. Sometimes you just have to learn how to trust in the process. But, but, but watch this, but sometimes God might just simply say, no. We said, we sing the song that he will never say no. But when you read, instead of about Paul, Paul said, I have a thorn in my flesh and Satan, he buffed me. I went to the Lord not one time, but three different times. He said, I asked him to take that thorn out of my flesh. But the answer came back time after time that he simply said, no. But I go to church 
every Sunday. I, I go to Bible class. Matter of fact, I, I even teach the Bible class. I teach Sunday school. I preach the word. And my child is laying there. She's sick. Uh, he's sick. Uh, I've been to the doctor and I've been diagnosed with this digital cancer. And so all I receive is bad news. But I've done what you told me to do. You told me that all I had to do was go down on my knees and ask you uh, not to beg and not even to plead. But all I had to do was just ask in the name of Jesus. You said that. Is still the same. Now, all things don't look like they're getting any better, but seems to me that things are just simply getting worse and worse. But now uh, that I'm giving you my all and all, I'm, I'm down here and I'm buried my soul. That I got trouble in my home. I got trouble uh, on my job. My health is not.
pastor's road. So it didn't matter about his past. See, you can look at me, but you can't see just how good, how good y'all. Take me all, all the way back. And when Paul 
said, he said, I know, I know, I know what my aim is. I'm aiming high. I'm trying to get there. He said, but sometimes I got the pressure. I got the pressure off. It's the word. It get hard. It get hard down here. Sometimes you want to just throw in the towel. You want to give up. But you thank God that he's keeping you. Or he'll send somebody. But he'll do for us what he's told us to do. We ought to encourage other folk when they're going through or when they're at the end of their rope just before they let go. You want to tell them before you let go, you want to tie a knot in the end of your rope. And that way, it'll give you something else to hold on to. Say for us, our knot is the word Sometimes 
you will be in a valley and you will have a valley experience. But they tell me that there is a, a lily uh, in the valley. And then they tell me that he is that bright and morning star. He'll shine on in your darkest hour. And I'm here to be living proof that he won't what he's done for one that he shall and he will y'all he'll do for another that's why he said that whosoever for whosoever believed in me you shall not perish see I'm here y'all because I didn't know him or for myself but I had somebody that was standing in the camp for me there was somebody when I used to rip and roam and lay out all day long. They would sit up all, all night and they would toss and turn and they would worry about me and they would send up those gentlemen, y'all. But then, then I realized that when I would come in and say something like everything, it would be all right with them. Sit there and they would tell God, oh, Thank you, I oh, thank you. See, I didn't know then, or oh, what I know now, that she was talking to the one that, that kept on uh, watch over me, the one that kept on uh, delivering me home, a uh, safe and sound. And then, well, how bad uh, did she want it? And she was willing to sacrifice. Uh, her night sleep so that she could receive a breakthrough. And how many of you hear that are under the sound of my voice or what are you willing to go through to receive your breakthrough? Are you willing to keep on uh, uh, praising God uh, where folks don't want to hear about it? Or uh, will you tell somebody about Jesus, about the only way to receive salvation when people don't want to hear what you got to say or when they don't want to see you coming or would you keep on or you're willing to sacrifice your livelihood for what the said the Lord are you willing to pay the ultimate price to have y'all that right relationship with God no matter or what it is, you got to go through. See, you told me, and you read your Bible about three young men. They wouldn't go along uh, just to get along, but it cost them. Uh, they found themselves in a fiery furnace, and it wasn't like uh, any heat that they ever experienced. You know, the Bible said that the heat was a uh, ten times. A hotter, but I'm here to let you know that the same ones that throw it in were the only ones that got burned up. Because they tell me when they begin to do the count, we throw three in. But then somebody said, then why do I count four? We put them in bound, but these four men, they'll lose y'all. So when God is in it, Something has got to give whatever you're going through or what it is you're dealing with. You want to put God first. You want to put Him uh, on your life. You want to keep uh, your hand in the Master's hand. If I write about it, see, He didn't stop there. He sent His only begotten Son. He sent us the very best that He had. That whosoever will that believe. Him, you shall not perish, but have your uh, everlasting life, even when uh, you're going through uh, your darkest hour, you can hold on uh, to that knowledge, or uh, when trouble is all around you, or uh, when your enemies are close at hand, you want to remember the sacrifice that he made, because he went down to a place called Another word, he went to God, God, he went y'all to a place called the skull, and they took him and they nailed him, nailed in his hand, and they tell me that they took him and they lifted him up, but what they forgot that when he said that if I, if I know, if I, if I, 
I'm going to spray for no consequence. Mm-hmm. Lord, we told us that all the benefits we can, we do this thing, but it's never a certain use. Yes. And we pray to spread and drink of this wine. Mm-hmm. The covering of you, Lord. And these and all the best of in your name. Amen. 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 Jesus was betrayed. He took bread and he broke it. After he had prayed, he said, this. He said, This bread is my body, which was broken for you. Let's eat. Likewise, the cup. He said, The cup is the New Testament. And the wine is my blood, which was spilled for you. Likewise, let's drink. As often you eat this bread and you drink this cup. You show the devil from the Lord devil till he comes. <clears throat> Thank you for 
second prize that you made for us up on Calvary. Father, don't yes. come to stick your seed with you. Do this and to take up your, your second prize in remembrance of you. Father, mm -hmm. God, thank you for being so kind and so generous. Now to him that is able to keep us from stumbling from falling by the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, let us rest through henceforth now and forevermore. Let every heart sing. Amen. Amen. May God bless you. May he keep you. Amen. Amen.